most Broadway theaters are set to reopen next month when COVID hit stars like Audra McDonald turned their homes into stages and performed for the live stream show Stars in the House. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue. What a voice. The stream has been a smash hit, raising more than $1 million for people in the industry who needed help after theaters closed. Stars in the House recently held its first in-person show to celebrate its success. And Dr. John LaPook played a special role. John, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. It was the first time we were all able to get together in a theater in more than a year, all vaccinated and wearing masks, and it was wonderful. The show was a toast to the entertainers, staff, and viewers who teamed up to support the Actors Fund, a nonprofit that helps professionals across the country, uh, both on and off the stage. They're in the performing arts, and from the very beginning of the pandemic, Stars in the House has found a way for the show to go on. Twas like a breath of spring. It's not every day you get to hear Kristen Chenoweth perform live. All nature seemed to be from her bathroom. We both know I am not one you need. Every singer knows that you sound better in the bathroom. The Emmy and Tony Award winning actor is part of the Stars in the House community. <laughs> a daily live stream show that has helped keep a glimmer of theater alive while much of Broadway remains dark. What do you think Stars in the House has meant for people emotionally and for you personally? I think a moment of entertainment through acknowledgement of what we're going through is what's needed. It's time! Even at Turmoil and Bat, there's still so much good. The best award that one can give is what y'all have done this past year. That's better than any amount of money. You can't put a price tag on it. Anyone donating? But you can put a price tag on the money the show has raised. We've raised a million dollars for the Actors Fund. Did you ever in a million years think that was going to happen? We never thought we were going to do the show past a month. Yeah. So we definitely never thought we would raise a million dollars. Somewhere over the rainbow. It's the brainchild of two Broadway veterans, producer James Wesley and his husband, musician Seth Rudetsky. We've had over a thousand artists. It was very easy to get yeses from all of them. And even though it's 1.10 a.m. where he is, George Clooney. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know, I'm sorry. Performances have spanned the world of entertainment, including theater, television, Join us. Music and comedy. I think it's really disrespectful for Richard to eat while I'm acting. <laughs> <laughs> I've been part of the team from day one, giving medical advice. The benefits of this vaccine far, far, far outweigh the risks. All the stars in the house proceeds go to the Actors Fund, a nonprofit established in 1882. That's almost as old as Broadway itself. This past year alone, the organization has helped more than 16,000 people hit hard by the pandemic. People hear the Actors Fund and they naturally think, oh, it's for actors. Right. The Actors Fund is a misnomer, which is not only my drag name, but <laughs> it means that it is not what it stands for. So the Actors Fund is for actor, singer, dancers, but everybody backstage, weak people, stage managers, under the stage right. musicians. Whether paying, it's paying your rent, yeah. your utilities, your health insurance, medical food. bills. Yeah. The sun will come out tomorrow. Actress Krista Rodriguez knows this firsthand. We feel, as actors, like we are going to be able to go with these ebbs and flows of life. And then when they happen, it is sort of humbling to realize there are things that we cannot always bounce back from without help. Seven years ago, Rodriguez was diagnosed with breast cancer and says the nonprofit helped her get by. I was on, I think, for about a year while I was going through immediate treatments of um, chemo, of a double mastectomy, and radiation. But when you're Eliza... You she now has a clean bill of health and shares her story with Broadway audiences during fundraising drives. From an outsider's perspective, it feels like you're giving money to a red bucket and you have no idea where it's going. Now you know where it's going. I love personalizing it when you said, you're not giving it into a little red bucket, you're giving it to me. And if you don't like me, someone else will get it too, you know. <laughs> and on this special night, 
the stars came out of the house to celebrate the success of the show. And I got to revel in the healing power of the arts. Epitaph! I got the whole. Encore! Encore! <laughs> you gotta love the artistic community at a time when the pandemic has kept us apart. It's doing what it always does, help bring us together. Go to starsinthehouse.com for more information and to watch past shows, which were amazing. Mm. Hundreds of them. Dr. LaPook, who knew you had such range? <laughs> I knew, because his office is next to mine. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I walk by. I've been and torturing that. <laughs> We've been here. singing it for a while. Well, wow. you know, they're the uh, teaspoon of sugar that helps my medicine go down. And, nice. you know, the healing power of the arts. And it's yeah. not just for the performers. It's for everybody. Everybody behind the scenes and people across the country. It's not just for actors. And like so many other people during the pandemic, they have been crushed economically. Mm. This has been a lifesaver for them. Dr. LaPoo, a new chapter every day. Thank you very much. <laughs>